Dear Misty, you've done several videos of coming out against online relationships. Why? Don't you know that several relationships online truly work? I only ask because I too have found the love of my life or I think he could be the one and he lives in another state. Yes. I have definitely done a lot of videos about online relationships and long distance relationships. Yes, I know that they have the potential of working or that they could work, but the chances are not in your favor. Just as like, um, yeah, you're in a plane, it could crash, it has happened. Yes, some people find their soulmates online, and yes, it could happen, but the chances are not in your favor. That doesn't mean that every person that gets on a plane is going to crash. The chances are they're gonna live. Technology is amazing. Um, but yes, technology is amazing, and yes, it is possible to meet someone online. Now, I too met a lot of people online, especially when I was in college. I was on American Online, and I would even skip class chatting with people. But I also, th like with everything, I think that the situation or the circumstances have a big part to play with this. If he or you or they or she or whoever you're talking to lives in a big city or in a community and they're stuck online, there's something wrong with them meaning they're not perfectly looking. Um, guys could hide online because they're too heavy or they're too short. Like for example, if you're a short guy and you're insecure because you're only like five something, like five four or five five, and you're embarrassed because you go out in the bars, you don't have the confidence to hit on girls that are like five eight, five nine, but you're an amazing guy, yeah, he's probably hiding online because he wants you to get to know him and therefore, you can overlook his height or whatever and you fall in love with him. That is true. It could work. It could happen. My theory is simple. Yes, online relationships could work. They can work. They have worked. Especially if you're in rural Scandinavia or if you're in the country of Kentucky and your nearest neighbor is three miles down the road and the nearest city is two hours or away. if you're a hillbilly living in the middle of nowhere, Yes, you need a social outlet. You need a way to connect to people. You need to, you know, reach out because there's nowhere for you to meet people in town. But if you live in a city or a community where there are places to go and places to see, then you need to meet people in real life. Really, the younger generation is really dependent on their grinders and their online apps to see what people are near them. You know, they'd rather ask all that, like, are you top or bottom on, on the phone than actually talk to them in person. But the reality is, if something's wrong with you, you're going to hide online. For example, I know a guy that was 5'4", and he was really insecure, a straight guy. And he was really, really insecure, and he didn't have the confidence to hit on women that were, you know, 5'6", 5'7", 5'8". He felt very short. And he was a great guy, very smart and very funny. And he hit online, meeting people online, hoping that they would fall in love with him. And then once they met in person, they would overlook his height. It could happen. I'm not saying it couldn't. But if you're talking to somebody that lives in a city or in a town, there's chances of something being weird or wrong are high. Otherwise, he wouldn't be hiding online. I'm not saying that online relationships will not work. I'm not saying online relationships can't work. I'm just saying, why are you dating? I'm just saying, I don't think it's a good idea to date someone over the internet far, far away that you haven't met in real life. If you have not met them in real life, then they are giving you their fantasy of what they want to be. They don't have to be bipolar online. They don't have to be crazy online. They don't have to be insane or whatever. They can only talk to you when they're in a good mood or they can only message you good things or whatever. They might look like they look on the camera, but again, they might have one leg or they might be, you know, I mean, I definitely think, I would definitely, I personally would date somebody with one leg or a short person. I've dated a guy that was five, I think six. Anyways, I dated a guy for a long time that was five, six, and he was very short compared to me in high heels. It didn't bother me, except for my stomach was in every picture of us, and so I learned how to squat and or duck. And, but yeah, I'm just, I just think that if you're not, the point of my previous videos is, 
If you have not met in real life, guard your heart and guard your emotions. I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm not saying it won't work. I'm not saying that it's impossible. I'm just saying the odds are not in your favor because when you meet in because when you meet in real life, the chances are he might be a little cuckoo bird or abusive or whatever. And I know that from experience. I met a guy, he was perfect online, then I moved in with him and he was abusive. And emotionally, physically abusive. And I thought I was in hell. And it was very, very traumatic. And I will never meet somebody online again. I learned the hard way. I'm not saying you can't, I'm not saying it won't work for you. I'm just saying it's much better to meet in person and if you have met in person, and if you have gone out on dates, you know, spend the weekend with him there. Have him speak in the weekend with... I mean, it could work. Spend the weekend with him in Michigan. Have him spend the weekend with you in Florida. Go on cruises together or whatever. But actually spend time in real life together, weekends or weeks or whatever, at a time to see if you're truly compatible in person. Otherwise, let it be an online relationship. Let it be a pen pal. Let it be a whatever. But don't let your heart get, oh my God, he's the one. I'm in love with him. Because the person you meet online isn't always the person you meet in person. Online, he could be funny. But in real life, he could not even be able to talk. He might be a mute. He might have a speech problem. He might be funny online, but terribly shy in real life. You never know. Look at all the catfish that nowadays, look at all the catfish things. Uh, I just saw a catfish episode where um, this beautiful blonde girl was talking to this guy in Michigan. And he was cute and Abercrombie-ish looking and whatever. And he fell in love with this girl online and finally asked her to meet him. And guess what? It wasn't a beautiful blonde girl. It was a gay man, fat and black kind of the opposite of being a beautiful blonde girl. He was a heavy black guy. You know, the exact opposite of what this guy was looking for and or thought he could have. I'm not saying he was a horrible person. I'm just saying he's, he was portraying what he wasn't so that he could get attention and affection from somebody because he needed and craved that attention and affection. I'm just saying be careful. I'm not saying I've never done it. I too have fallen in love with many people online. One I moved to Florida with, and uh, thank God because they live here now, but it was literally hell for me. Um, back in the 90s, there was a thing called American Online, and I was on it all the time. But again, I was a closeted Christian student, and I needed that outlet. Oh my gosh, M for M chat rooms. And I would skip class and talk to people online that had similar interests and ideas in me. But in reality, I was living in the middle of Scandinavia. <laughs> but in reality, I was in the middle of Antarctica, in the middle of a Christian bubble, chatting with people on the other side of the world even though they might have been 10 feet away. But I was in the closet, I was scared, I couldn't come out. But I needed that connection. So I'm not saying you can't do it, I'm not saying you shouldn't do it, I'm just saying you really need to be careful. Because there are wackadoodle crazy people out there. Look at CSI Miami, look at CSI Las Vegas, look at Criminal Minds. There are really weird people out there. I'm not saying everybody's crazy, I'm not saying everyone's a killer, but there are people out there that pretend to be what they're not online. I even saw a catfish episode where there was a girl that showed all her pictures. It really was her, but she lied about everything else. She lied about where she lived. She lied about everything. She was herself. He fell in love with her, but not really her, just her image. Just saying, be careful. That's all. Loving you is easy.